fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high-o silver, the Lone Ranger. of the cattle industry in the western United States, the bands of outlaws that roamed the frontier turned to cattle rustling, and the lives and property of the ranchers were in constant danger until the masked rider of the plains started his great fight for justice. It was his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness that brought law and order to the lawless new territory, and finally made possible the winning of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading for Amosville. There's going to be trouble. Hey, oh, Silver. Hey! The cowboy had left his horse at the corral. But instead of heading for the front door, he circled the ranch house until he reached an open window at the side. He looked around furtively. Only the crickets broke the stillness of the night. Then he turned once more to the window and called softly. Mary. Mary. Wait, wait, wake up. What? Who's there? It's Jim. Come here. I have to talk to you. Jim, don't you realize it was easy? I need help, sis. What have you done now? I was over to Abbotsville. I had to shoot. In self-defense. You killed a man. I don't know. Just believe me, it wasn't my fault. No matter what happened. They'll be after me, though. I've got to find some place to hide. And you're asking me to help you? You're my sister, aren't you? I'm ashamed to admit it after the way you treated Pa. He never could prove I stole his cattle. You aren't trying to deny it, are you? That was almost a year ago. I needed money. I needed it bad. And you couldn't go to Pa and ask for it like a man. It was a gambling debt. You know what he'd have said to that. I'm not going to argue about it. I've only been hoping that you'd... You're right. There's no time to argue. Will you help me or won't you? No. Going back on your promise to Ma, huh? Her deathbed promise. Even she wouldn't help you now. It was the last thing she asked you. I heard her. You promised you'd always look after me. Oh, Jim, why can't you be a man? I want your answer, that's all. Oh, there's no place I can hide you. Pa would find you sooner or later around here. And if you're wanted for murder, he'd turn you over to the sheriff. You can't expect another chance from him. I don't want nothing to do with him. Then why do you ask you're me You're the school to... teacher, aren't you? What's the matter with the schoolhouse in town? Why? It ain't being used this time of the year, and you got the keys. I won't give them to you. Why not? How do I know this isn't another trick? I'd give you the keys, and you'd steal everything inside the place. You're loco. There's nothing in there worth stealing. There is, though. It's the only place I'll be safe, Mary. I've been thinking all the way from Abbotsville. Uh, I'll open the door, and then I'll lock you in. Lock me in? Then I'd be a prisoner. That's right. You'd be my prisoner until I find out what you've done. Decide what I should do myself. Well, listen... You can take it or leave it. I won't give you the keys. All right. It's a deal. Hurry up and get dressed. I'll have a horse saddled for you. The black with the white star. I know. Hurry. It won't take me a minute. Lucky. Not a 
soul stirring. You call it lucky. Lucky to be hiding from the law. Never mind the lecture. Come on. You got the keys? Right here. I'll open the door. No, you won't. If you try to take them, I'll wake up the whole town. A fine sister. A fine brother, Jim. That's all I have to say to that. All right, hurry up. There you are. I'm going to need food, you know. I thought of that. There's enough in this package to last until tomorrow night. And water. Here's a full canteen. Good. <laughs> you think of everything. This is for more, Jim. But I'm going to find out all about that shooting at Abbottsville, and if you were in the room... It was just like I told you. We'll see. You can expect me tomorrow night. Quick. What? A couple of hombres galloping down the street. Get into your saddle and get my horse out of here. Wait up, Toto. Huh? Those horses were standing right here. That's right. Time to see track and dust. See if you can find out anything else from them. Oh, let me look. I'm pretty sure that was a girl who rode away. We pick up her trail outside of town, and I think it will lead us to the Ashland Ranch. Ah. Huh. What? Horse girl lead carries somebody here. The tracks are heavier coming up? That's right. And someone is hiding inside the schoolhouse. You look? No, Tonto. We know who it is. We want him to think he's safe for a while. We'll follow the girl's trail and then make camp. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. The following morning, Mary Ashland served breakfast to her father and Red Weatherby, the foreman. Mmm. You look tired, Mary. Need to sleep well? Uh, not very. Did, uh, did anything wake you up last night? No. Nope. Mm, I was dead to the world from the time I hit the pillow till the sun woke me. Uh, maybe you heard me coming in, Mary. Oh, I heard you, Red, but I was already awake then. Well, what's the news of Abbotsville? Abbotsville? Is, is that where you were? Mm hmm. Yeah. Is there, is there any news? I had a little trouble last night. Man was shot. Good place to stay away from. Abbotsville. Well, I'm going into town. You'll take care of that south fence, won't you, Red? Hmm, sure thing. Want anything, Mary? No, Pa. Well, I do. Give me a kiss. I'll be back about noon. All right. Red, the man who was shot, did he die? He hadn't when I left. But he was hurt bad? I guess so. Why are you so interested? Oh, I... I'm not exactly, but... I hate all this shooting and killing. When's there going to be an end of it around here? You should be interested, Mary. Really? Uh, do I know the man who was hurt? You know the man who shot him. Not Jim. You don't have to pretend with me. Pretend? I don't have to tell you it was Jim. What makes you think that... This, Mary. What? Bandana? Yeah. There's nothing unusual about it. It was the one Jim was wearing last night. I found it outside your bedroom window. There were footprints there, too. Yes, he... He did come here. Where is he now? Why do you want to know, Red? Well, doggone it, I... I don't feel the same way toward Jim that you and your ma do. He was spoiled when he was young. If he keeps on the way he's going, he won't amount to much. But that's no reason why I should stop Led. You... You mean that someone's trying to kill him? That hombre he plugged last night is plenty tough. He'll be up and around today. Oh, thank goodness. It's nothing to be thankful for for Jim's point of view. Scar's tough and he's got friends. He won't rest till he gets even. Now, the only safe thing for Jim is to get as far away from these parts as he can. You, you'll have to give me time to think, Red. I'll admit that you can help him better than All I can. All right, Injun, speak up. What are you doing around here? That's Paul. He's caught an engine. Come on. Oh, I hope this doesn't mean more trouble. Why should it? One engine can't make any trouble. Uh, you haven't said anything to your paw, have you, about last night? Of course not. What is it, Paul? Anything wrong? Mm, I just found him hanging around the side of the house. He wants to buy some supplies. Mm, that's right. Why don't you buy him in town? He has a good reason for that. The way they try to cheat Indians is a shame. Well, give him some bacon and beans. Make him pay, though. Um, he got money. Hey, look, somebody riding up. Mm, never saw that horse before. I have. Well, who is it? Omri called Tex. He was over in Abbotsville last night. Oh. Well, he rides well. But I don't like the way he carries his guns. Howdy, folks. This the Ashland spread? It is. Is Jim a... Well, why don't you finish? What about Jim? Just have to notice this hombre with the red hair. 
You work around here, mister? That's my foreman, Red Weatherby. And uh, you're Judd Ashland? Yeah. What do you want with Jim? Is he here? He hasn't been here for close to a year. He isn't welcome, and neither is gun-toting pals. Well, I wouldn't call myself a pal of Jim's, but if he ain't around, I got no business here. Get around there, boy. Get up. Mm, he sure can't be a friend of Jim's, or he'd know he couldn't be found here. What do you make of it? If he ain't a friend, he might be just the opposite. Yes. You're right about everything, Red. Hmm? If he isn't a friend, he must be an enemy. And you followed Tex. That's right, Kimasabi. Him go to town, ask about Jim. I see. What you find in Abbottville? Scar's better. I saw him on the street. Jim's bullet only caught him in the shoulder. And that's what Tonto think last night. It looks like trouble, but I can't see where Tex fits into the picture. We go to town when it get dark? Yes, Tonto. It won't be safe until after midnight. But that's when things will start to happen. Somebody outside. Hmm. It was 12 o'clock. It's too early for Mary. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear footsteps coming around this side to the window. The moon, I can see out pretty good. Why? <laughs> making all the noise. What's it? Mary. Sheriff, I locked Jim in the schoolhouse last night. You what? Come along, I'll tell you about it on the way. You locked him in the schoolhouse? Yes, he'd been in a fight over in Abbotsville. Oh, he'd killed a man. I heard about that. Him and Scar had a fight. Scar wasn't hurt bad. Jim didn't know that last night, and I didn't find it out until this morning. I locked him in the schoolhouse, and I didn't come to let him out until just a few minutes ago. I was going to make him get out of the country so he'd be safe from Scar and his friends. Good idea. Red and I had it all fixed. Red must be waiting outside of town now with a horse and supplies, but when I opened the door of the schoolhouse, I... Oh. Go on. Jim wasn't there. You said all? No. Glass in one of the windows was broken. It had been forced open. So that's how we got out. I don't think so. There was a stain on the floor. A red stain. You mean... Here we are. I'll show you. There's nothing more I've got to tell you. Open the door. It isn't locked, but... Oh, I just can't do it. Sure. There. When the moonlight hits the floor, you can see for yourself. Did you go any closer in this? Yes, when I was here before, but... I understand, Mary. You don't have to go in again. <laughs> Sheriff, there's a man in there. I got you covered, mister. Reach for the ceiling. Anything you say, Sheriff. You! This man came to our ranch this morning. He was looking for Jim. That's true enough. Scott sent him over here to kill him. Where is he? What have you done with him? Here's my story, Sheriff. I was in bed over at the hotel and I heard a shot. Nothing unusual about that in this town, but it was sort of late and it made me curious. Got dressed and walked along the street till I saw that broken window. You broke it yourself. You broke it when you killed my brother. Let him finish, Mary. Well, I was around the side when Miss Ashland rode up. I heard her open the door and go in. Then I heard her scream and run out again. That's when I decided to investigate. What have you done with him? Where is he? I've told you all I know. It ain't enough. He's a killer, Sheriff. Right. And tonight he's put his neck in the noose. You're under arrest for the murder of Jim Ashland. Hello. Curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. to continue our story. On the morning after Tex was arrested for the murder of Jim Ashland, the sheriff, Judd, and Red met in the lawman's office. Something must be done. I'm doing all I can, Judd. Matter of fact, I'm exceeding my authority holding Tex in jail. 
We can't even prove there's been a murder committed until we find Jim. We'll find him. What do you think we're trying to do? I've had 20 men out since daybreak. It's sure that you won't find Jim in town, Sheriff. He's got to be in town. Dix didn't have time enough to take him outside any place and then get back to the schoolhouse. He's covered every square inch. He ain't here. I tell Don't you, you must... see what that means? Sure. He vanished into thin air. Either that or... Or Tex had somebody working with him. Say. Why not? I'm sure of it. I'll get a posse to get the right away and go after him. Now, wait a minute, Sheriff. You're forgetting this, Armory. Whoever he is has a 12-hour start on you. Yeah, not much chance, but we've got to try it anyway. Why don't you let Tex lead you to him? Well, you loco. I'm talking sense. He hasn't changed his story one little bit from last night. Why should he? That's the reason he stayed behind. Because he knew you couldn't do anything to him. And if he's so sure of himself, how do you expect me to get a lead out of him? Let him escape. What's that? Listen. He must have fixed it up with his sidekick to meet him someplace. All right, once he's free, he'll go there. All you have to do is follow him. With the posse. Nine chances out of ten, you'll find Jim. It's only one thing. What? Well, if you were to fix it up for him to escape, he'd know something was wrong. I'll just tell him I can't hold him any longer. That might work. But here's a better idea. All right, let's have it. Let me go to him tonight. Tell him the town's getting ready to lynch him. Yeah? Tell him he did me a big favor by getting Jim. What's that? Now, I thought more of the kid than you did, Judd. You don't got... know what you're talking about. Well, I was only judging by the way you talked. Anyway, this is only to make Tex think it's all in the level. Oh, I see. Want me to try it, Sheriff? Yeah. I'll let you in to see him tonight. You can slip my key and leave a horse in back of the jail. When he hightails it out of town, we'll follow him. Meanwhile, Mary Ashland was alone at the ranch house. That must be either Joe or Red. I wonder if they've found anything. A mask man. Miss Ashland, you I'm... You want a scars man? I'm your friend and I'm trying to help you. Do you know where my brother is? That's why I came here. I want to take you to him. You? Oh, no. Just tell me where and I'll send Paul Red. He's alive, Miss Ashland. Alive? Badly wounded, unconscious, but still breathing. You're the only one I can take to him. This, this isn't a trick. You'll have to take my word for that. I will, mask man. If there's anything I can do, I'm ready. He seems to be resting comfortably. Yes. Tonto did everything a doctor could. There's nothing more to do but wait. Tonto, a mask, and a horse called Silver. I know who you are, and I'm glad I came with you. As soon as it gets dark, we'll have to leave you here alone. It's almost dark now. Oh, where's Tonto gone? Must have left three or four hours ago. We're expecting someone, Miss Ashland. The man your brother had a fight with in Abbotsville. You mean you're expecting him here, in this canyon? No, in town. But why should he go there? He must have heard that Jim was shot last night. You believe that Tech shot him? Of course. Well, I don't. Tonto and I weren't close enough to be sure, but we had no reason to doubt it. Scar paid him. Scar doesn't pay anyone. He gets paid. No, I, I don't understand it at all. You rode up to the schoolhouse just a minute or two after the shot. You thought you saw the man who fired it. But instead of going after him, you tried to save Jim's life. Why did you carry him away? Why didn't you leave him there? We hope to have the answer for all your questions tonight. The information you've given me has helped a lot. Tex may have more. You're going to see him? If we can manage it. He's in jail. But the windows of his cell open on the outside. There's... There's more to all this than poor Jim's life, isn't there? Yes, Miss Ashland. For instance, we had a good reason to pick this canyon for our camp. Do you realize that if rustlers were to try and drive off part of your herd, they'd have to come through here? I suppose they would, but what rustlers are you talking about? We haven't been in trouble with them for ages. Listen, that must be Tonto now. Hi! Did you see him, Tonto? Uh-huh. Them meat, like you say. Did you get close enough to hear anything? Uh-huh. Them's the time when Posse go after Tex. Now, what do you mean? The sheriff let Tex escape. Go after him with posse. What for? What does he hope to gain by that? Him think Tex lead him to Jim. So that's it. Now, what you do now? We're going to arrange it so Tex will lead him to Jim. Here, Silver. How you do that? It will be dark by the time we reach town. We're heading for the jail. When will you be back? That depends on when they set Tex free. You said that the, the man... The posse will follow him here. And when they reach this canyon, they'll find more than they expected to. <laughs> come on, Silver. You must come. Did me a favor by getting rid of Jim, Tex. Yeah, I can believe that. I heard you fixing up with Scar to start that fight over in Abbotsville. That's all? 
Yeah. Jim was supposed to be killed then, wasn't he? He would have been. Scar's gun hadn't stuck in the holster. You know I didn't shoot him, Red. But you mean that? You're innocent? I can't make you out. Whoever it was that killed Jim did me a favor. Just remember that. Whether you want to admit it or not, it not make any difference to me. All right, we'll forget it. What brings you here? If you stay here, they'll lynch you. So I got it fixed for you to escape. How? Here's a key. It unlocks your cell door, the door to the office. I got it off the sheriff's key ring. I'll need a horse. There'll be one waiting in the back of the jail. You got a watch? Yeah. And wait for an hour. I'll have the sheriff out of the way by then. An hour? Eleven o'clock. That's right. Make your break at eleven o'clock. You can be over the border by morning. Good luck. All right, masked man, he's gone. <laughs> Good thing the roof of this place is flat and low. Uh, I don't have to tell you what he said, do I? No, Tex. Shall I uh, use the key? Of course. I don't know. I'll be waiting just outside of town. And then we open the sheriff's eyes. One hour, Tex. We'll see you then. Here he comes, Tonto. Uh-uh. Him ride plenty fast. You see that big cloud of dust beyond him? Ah, uh, that's the posse. They're afraid to let him get too far away. <laughs> They're on my trail, masked man. They ought to keep farther back. They expect me to lead them to any hideout. We'll let them keep us inside all the way. Come on, Silver. Come up, Silver. I say they're heading straight for the border. We can stop them before they get there. Yeah, but it ain't time to close in yet. There's still a chance to lead us to Jim. You're right. And now they're breaking away from the trail and heading to the west. The west? You know the country over there better than me, Jed. What are we getting into? I'd say they'd end up at the south entrance of the canyon. Which canyon? The one that cuts down from my south pasture. What the? What's the matter with you, Ed? They can lose us in that country. We gotta catch them before they reach it. Get up there. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Mine won't hold up much longer at this speed, masked man. That's the entrance of the canyon just ahead of us. Uh, I see it now. We'll rain up there. We wait for Posse Kimasabi. Yes, Tonto. Let's hope this car and his gang are already in the canyon. Uh, All right, Tex. Listen. Kettle, huh? Sounds like a thousand head. They're still above the bend, but by the time the Posse gets here, we'll be able to see them. Posse, come now. I got a hunch that one of them's going to shoot first and talk afterwards. He's drawing now. Shall I? I'll take care of him. Oh, my hand! Put up your gun, mask, man. You have to get a chance. I'll put it up on one condition, Sheriff. What's that? You and Judd and Red right up here alone. You'll give yourself up peaceable? If you still want to hold us after we finish talking to you. Come on, Judd. Do you have any identification, Tex? Sure. I'll get it out. All right, get the flavor over. Where's Jim? We'll show you Jim in just a moment. Don't argue, Sheriff. Hurry him back to town. You'll read this paper first. Hey, don't read no paper by this lad. A match will help. Yeah. What the... Marshal Chalmers. That's me. You old Tex Chalmers? Yes, yeah, Sheriff. Hey, don't believe it. Why did you let me arrest you? Why didn't you tell me who you were? Because I was trying to catch a gang of crooks. And if I was arrested for the crime, there was a chance a man who shot Jim Ashland would overplay his hand. Well, I'll be dog. And in case you're interested, the masked man here is a lone ranger. Leaping cactus. Well, doggone. We've been chasing the United States Marshal and the lone ranger half across the county. We had a reason for bringing you here, Judd. Look up the canyon. Get up there. You not call. Good, Tonto. Hold his bridle. Get his guns, Tex. Right. It's my cattle. Rustlers, Judd. Scar and his gang. Red tipped them off that you and all your men would be riding with the sheriff tonight. Red's a crook. I'll answer for that. Mary. I'll wait for the rest of this to lady. Me and this gang of rustlers up the canyon. Follow me and we'll round them up. Come on, get up, boy. How'd you get here, Mary? Uh, the masked man brought me to take care of Jim. He, he isn't dead? No. Let's forgive him, Paul. 
He'll be different from now on. He's learned his lesson. Has he regained consciousness? He has. All my questions are answered. It was Red who shot him? Yes. That's a lie. He saw you. You tricked me into telling you where he was, and then you went there and shot at him. I never had anything and to... Joe, Jim told me why you did it. He knew that you were rustling. He told you to leave Paul's herds alone or he'd go to the sheriff. Jim did that? Yes, Paul. Take me to him. It's this way. Get up there, midnight. Get up. Get up there. So you're not only a rustler, Red. You're guilty of attempted murder. You'll have to prove it. That won't be hard. <laughs> you look... Outlaw, throw down gun. Posse round him up, and he good. You'll go to jail with the rest of the gang, Red, but you'll stay there a lot longer. I'll say he will. The job's finished, Tex. Tonto and I'll be on our way. Well, I... I know you don't want thanks, masked man, but if I run up against something tough like this again, I sure hope you'll be around to lend a helping hand. We'll meet again, Tex. Adios. Adios. Get him up, scum. Ho, so just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.